Hey, what's up, you guys? I'm here from Xtreme PC Review. Today, I will be conducting a review on the Yasia CPU cooler by Scythe. So, stay tuned. What comes with the CPU cooler is the heatsink itself, a 120 millimeter fan, an installation guide, two metal assembly clips for socket LGA775, 1156, and 1366, two additional uh, metal assembly clips for the AMD processors as well as a clip for the 120 millimeter fan and finally the thermal grease. Taking a closer look at the CPU cooler we can get a closer look at the new Trident multi-layer fin structure. This CPU cooler has 54 fins, 54 aluminum fins to be exact, which allows this CPU cooler to have a unique look. As we take a closer look at the front of the CPU cooler we can see the unparalleled heat pipe arrangement that Scythe has uh, provided in this CPU cooler. Taking a closer look at the heat pipes, you notice that they are copper and the base is completely nickel plated and it also has a heat sink so that it dissipates heat quicker. The base also has two notches uh, to allow this CPU cooler to be completely toolless so that you don't need any tools whatsoever. So please note that there is a sticker on the bottom of the CPU cooler right there uh, that you must remove before installation. The base of the CPU cooler has a nice mirror finish as you can see right there. This is the installation guide of the Yaiza CPU cooler by Scythe and it is being reflected off the base of the CPU cooler itself. This is the fan that comes with the Yaiza CPU cooler. Uh, it is a slipstream 120 millimeter PWM adjustable fan. The model number of the fan that comes with the Scythe Yaiza is SY1225SL12HPVC and it is uh, the amps. Uh, it also comes attached to a uh, fan controller which you can put on your case on the PCI expansion slot and uh, you could turn it from low to high depending on uh, how fast you want the uh, fan to uh, be. With the fan controller on low it will operate at a range of 470 RPM at 7.05 dBA and 23 CFM to 1340 RPM at 27.3 decibels and 76.53 CFM. When we switch it to the high setting, it will operate in a range of 740 RPM at 9.8 decibels and 37.15 CFM to 1900 RPM at 37 decibels and 110.31 CFM. Preparing the CPU cooler for installation is quite easy. Basically, I will be installing this on an Intel-based motherboard, so I will be using these Intel uh, mounting brackets. So basically, all you have to do is at the bottom, at the base of the uh, CPU cooler, you have these two notches right here, and uh, you will be inserting these onto that. So basically, you're just going to have to Squeeze a little bit and insert as so. Make sure it clicks and you're good to go. Do the same to the other side and uh, you're ready to install the CPU cooler to the motherboard. Now I will be applying this Scythe High Thermal Conductivity Compound onto my uh, Core i3 processor. Just a dab, not so much. That should be good or more than enough actually. Once the, C once the CPU cooler has been installed and the fan has been installed on the CPU cooler, there is absolutely no space between the RAM and the fan. Uh, it's not pushing down on the RAM, but it, there is absolutely no space. It's practically just touching the RAM itself.
As for the Scythe Ninja Wire, it is an optimal tool to attach or stabilize heavy objects and components inside and outside of the PC case. This means that you no longer have to worry about bending your graphics card uh, or your CPU cooler. You know, nowadays you have huge graphics cards and huge CPU coolers to, you know, give the best performance. All right. And uh, you no longer have to worry about that. It's it's gone. You, you have the Ninja Wire. Pretty much what you do with this is you put this all together, as you see on the picture and on the screen, and you attach it anywhere onto your uh, PC case or anywhere where you can pretty much hold the uh, graphics card, GPU, or uh, CPU cooler, or pretty much anything that weighs under 2 kilograms or 4.4 pounds. Alright, and uh, the cable length is uh, about 1 meter. Uh, it's uh, made of full steel and it weighs about 18 grams. Okay, so pretty much you could put this uh, on your GPU, your graphics card, uh, your G CPU cooler, because you know a lot of uh, these uh, companies are starting to make uh, heavy CPU coolers so that you get the best performance out of them. This CPU cooler is amazing. Not only does it look amazing, but it performs amazing. Keeping your CPU nice and cool, uh, you can decide the speed of it. So for those of you who are worried uh, about keeping a silent PC, and also for you guys who want to have great overclocking with uh, a great cooler, uh, this is a thing. This is a CPU cooler for you because uh, it delivers a great amount of cooling to your CPU. One of the cons is that it does use a uh, push pin system, which is why you should purchase the Ninja Wire so that you make sure it doesn't bend, bend your motherboard or damage your motherboard or anything. Uh, the Ninja Wire can pretty much be used on anything like a CPU cooler, graphics card, or pretty much anything you need. Uh, if I had to rate this using the 5 star system, I would give it a 4 out of 5 because it does use a push pin system, but this cooler really does keep your CPU cool. If you would like to learn more about the rest of the Scythe products, please open up your web browser and visit www.scythe-usa.com where you will find a bunch of Scythe products uh, including the Scythe Camera Connect Plus, the Scythe Slipstream 120mm PWM adjustable fan, as well as the Case Master Pro 5 and a quarter inch fan controller.